To book a private reading, email me at tarakite at hotmail.com. Thanks. Hi Scorpio, welcome to your September 2016 tarot scope and make sure to check for your moon sign and your rising sign as well. Alright, and for the main focus you got the temperance card and you also got this grove card. And this card comes from the Wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cast and Colet Baron Reed. Alright, and before I pulled your cards I saw an image of the moon and I also saw an image of an owl. And with the moon, I feel like your psychic senses are heightened. You know, I feel like it's really important for you to really follow your intuition. You know, really trust your gut feelings on things. You know, don't second guess yourself. You know, I feel like, you know, you're spot on with your intuition this month. And, you know, also pay attention to your dreams. And, you know, pay attention to the signs. You know, I feel like spirit is really trying to communicate with you this month. And with the owl, you know, the owl is a symbol of wisdom, mysticism, and protection. I feel like there is protection around you. And I feel like you have a lot of foresight. You know, owls have really good vision. You know, they can see in the dark. And, you know, I feel like you have, you know, it's like you're having like really, you know, you're very intuitive and you know, you have really good gut feelings on things, you know, and really just really pay attention to how you're feeling like about things, you know. It doesn't so it doesn't really matter so much how something is being presented to you, but just you know, see how that makes you feel. You know, I feel like really paying attention to how you're feeling about things is really gonna be important this month. You know, it doesn't matter so much how things look or, you know, how they seem, but it matters more about how you, you know, you how you feel about it. So, you know, really pay attention to, you know, I just feel like there is a, a situation in which there is, you know, some, there, there's more to something than meets the eye. And also with that, you know, I feel like it would be a good idea to give something a chance as well. Um, but yeah, there's definitely something more going on with something. And so really pay attention to any gut feelings that you get. And I also feel like you're really wanting to, you know, get things done this month. I do feel like you have a good head on your shoulders. I feel like you're taking a grounded approach. Um, but I do feel like you are wanting to get things done. Alright, and before I pulled this temperance card, I saw an image of a tree. And with that, you know, to me the tree is a symbol of being grounded, you know, being wise. And I feel like you are being very patient with something. You know, you're not just rushing into things. You know, you're taking the time to really examine things. And yeah, you're paying, you're really paying attention on how you're feeling with things. I just feel like you're looking at everything. Um, but yeah, you're being very patient. You know, you're very well-rounded. And, you know, there's irises on this card here. And the iris is a symbol of, you know, the higher self. And I feel like you are in touch with the truth. And, you know, you're in touch with your own truth as well. And it's like what I was saying. You know, there's some, there's more going on with something than what meets the eye. Um, and I feel like you are in touch with the truth in a certain situation. And I feel like, yeah, you, you're also being very patient. And I, 
I feel like, you know, good things are going to flow to you. And I, I feel like there is good luck around you. You know, you're going to be in the right place at the right time. You know, I feel like this is all about synchronicity. You know, I just feel like something is meant to be and it's going to happen when it's meant to happen. You know, I feel like, you know, good things are going to be, you know, flowing to you. Um... And with this Grove card, before I pulled this card, I saw an image of a snake. And that is a symbol of, you know, a healer, like a shaman. I feel like you're taking the time to really, you know, nurse your heart. I feel like some of you have gone through your own set of, you know, heartbreak or just, you know, disappointment. This doesn't have to be romantic, but it just seems like... But it literally could be for some of you out there. But I just feel like you're taking the time to really nurse your heart. And, you know, you're taking, you're being very gentle on yourself. You know, and with this growth card, I feel like it is important for you to, you know, just set that time out that you need for yourself. You know, I feel like it's important for you to take some time out just to be by yourself and to really process your feelings and you know how you truly feel about something and I feel like there is a lot of healing energy around you I feel like you're really you know you're healing you know your emotions you know and I I feel like you're you're moving on from some things as well and I also feel like some of you are making amends with other people as well like um yeah, it's like you're giving a relationship a fresh start. Or you're giving, like, a certain situation a fresh start. Like, if you felt like you were discouraged from following your dreams, you know, whatever that was. You know, whether it was music, art, you know, going to school or whatever. You know, I feel like some of you have been discouraged, but now it's like you're healing that and you're moving forward and you're giving it another go. All right. Oh, yeah, and your chakra focus is the throat chakra this month, and so, yeah, I feel like it's really important for you to express how you're feeling and to express what your ideas are, and, you know, if this does involve, you know, another person, you know, maybe your feelings were hurt, I feel like it's important for you to really express how you feel. All right. For the beginning of the month, you've got the Eight of Pentacles. And this Oath card. And before I pulled this card here, I saw an image of a smiley face and then somebody multitasking. And so I feel like you're getting, like, a lot accomplished, you know. And this card represents, you know, working hard. Um, you know, being very dedicated. You know, having really good focus. Um, and I feel like that's what you're doing. I feel like... I feel like there's just this feeling of relief, like, good, I got that done, I got that project done, you know? I feel like this is going to make you feel happy, whatever you're getting accomplished. Um, for others of you, I just feel like your work, you're just really happy with your work. Um, or you're just really proud of yourself for some something that you made, like maybe you're into making jewelry or artwork or something. It's just like you get some sort of satisfaction from that. Um, and with this Oath card, you know, I feel like, for some of you, this is like, you've made a promise to yourself, you know, I'm going to get this, this, and this done, okay? I just have to do it. i got to get this done. i got to get this accomplished. And I see you following through with that. For others of you, you know, I feel like you're making, you know, maybe a promise to somebody else. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll help you do this chore or whatever. Um... You're helping somebody else out. You know, you're making a, a promise to somebody else. Um, or, you know, this could, for some of you, this could be, you know, a relationship. You know, maybe you're stepping the relationship up to the next level. You know, maybe you're making more of a commitment to somebody else. Maybe you're moving in with someone or proposing to someone or just seems like, or you're just entering this new relationship with someone, but now it feels like it's going more steady. It just seems like, for some of you, it, it's like more of a commitment to somebody. Um, 
But for those of you, I just feel like you're making a commitment to something. And this may be like a hobby. You know, maybe you want to write a book. It's like, okay, I'm going to work on this, you know, these certain days. And I'm just going to do it. It's like you're making some sort of commitment to something. Some sort of dedication. And you're like following through with it. And, you know, for others of you, this may just be helping, like I said, helping out a friend or a family member. You know, you have certain um, commitments that you're, you know, that you're doing. You know, you have certain commitments within the family or with friends or, you know, even work. All right. And for the middle of the month, you got... This loyalty card. And the Nine of Wands. Alright, and before I pulled these cards, I saw an image of a hot air balloon. And Spirit told me, like, you're painting a new picture. And to me that means, like, you're doing... You're doing new things. And this could be with something creative. Maybe, you know, you have... You know, let's say this is, like, with music you know maybe you have a certain style you usually follow but now you're switching things up or you know even with your artwork you know maybe you usually paint in a certain way but you want to mix things up um i just feel in general you're wanting to mix things up change things up i feel like you're getting new a new perspective on something i feel like you're getting a deeper understanding of something you know and with that hot air balloon it just seemed like you know, you're getting this new, like I said, like this like new perspective on something. For some of you, you know, you may literally be traveling. Um, you know, you may be seeing new sights, you know, seeing new places, you know, seeing a new view. Um, it just seems like you're getting a whole new perspective on something. I feel like you are understanding yourself more. You're getting to know yourself more as well. Um, but yeah, just a lot of changes, a new way of thinking for you this middle of the month. And just wanting to do new things and experience new things. And this could be, you know, even with a job. Maybe you decide you want to network yourself differently. Or, you know, maybe you're even changing your hairstyle. It just seems like you're open to change. Um, and with the... Nine of Wands. And with this card right next to it, to Loyalty card, it does seem like, you know, you're very loyal to someone. There's just a lot of commitment and dedication from you in general this month. Um, and yeah, I, you know, you're being very loyal towards somebody else. You know, you have somebody's back. Somebody can trust you. You know, you're their rock. And I just love you, Scorpio. You know, you guys are very healing to be around, and you are very strong. I, I feel like sometimes that gets overlooked in Scorpio, on just, like, how strong they are. Like, usually, you know, Taurus is a very strong sign, don't get me wrong, but I feel like you guys, like, <laughs> it's not as emphasized as much about how just strong Scorpio is, and I feel like, you know, you give somebody else that strength, that you know, that security, that strength that they need. Um, you know, you're somebody's rock. Um, so yeah, I just feel like you're really helping others this month. For others of you, you know, you may feel like loyal to, somebody else is being very loyal to you. You know, somebody else has got your back. Um, or this could be, this might not be a person. This might be like a cause or something you believe in. You know, you're very persistent with it, um, you know, maybe this is, like, you know, loyalty to that promise you made, you know, maybe, it's like what I was saying, you're like, okay, I want to just finish writing this book, you know, you're really taking the time to really work on that project, you know, you're setting out that time and just doing it, so yeah, just a lot of dedication energy around you, um, yeah, and I feel like you aren't, with this card, I feel like you're not giving up, no matter how hard something is. You know, you're going to see your dreams, you're going to get things done, you're going to see things to the end. 
you know, and, you know, this card, it can indicate feeling a little weary, you know, a little tired, you know, this is like running a race and you're on the lap, you know, the last lap of the race, you know, it's always the hardest, um, but, you know, keep going, you're almost there, you know, you have a lot of strength, and yeah, once again, I just see you, you know, being very dedicated to something and seeing something to the very end, all right. And for the end of the month, you've got the Cycles card, and you've got the Seven of Wands. Alright, and with the Cycles card, yeah, I literally feel like, yeah, you're moving into a new cycle. There's a fresh start for you. Um, and before I pulled this card, I saw an image of, like, a road, and the sun was shining down on the road. And it was like a long road, and I feel you have had to have a lot of patience with something, you know, it's like you've been on a long journey, like a long, it's been a long road for something that you, you know, some dream to happen or, you know, for you to accomplish something, it's been a long road. Um, but, you know, the sun is shining down <laughs> on you. You know, shining down on your dreams. And know that, you know, you will accomplish it. I know it's been a long ride, but you are going to cross the finish line. Um, and yeah, I just feel like you're getting, also with this card, I feel like you're getting like a second wind. It was like, you know, with this card, you know, you're a little bit weary. You're like, you know, this path has been really long for me, this road. But it's like, with this new cycles card, it's like, you're getting, like, a renew. Like, I feel like there's a sense of renewal. Like, you're getting your second wind here. Um, and yeah, and with the Seven of Wands card, you know, I feel like there has been a lot of opposition for you. A lot of competition. You know, discouragement. You know, so I feel like for some of you, there's somebody who has not believed in you. Um, but you're going to prove them wrong here. And, you know, this person is standing in a more favorable position. You know, you have that something special. You know, I feel like you're just going to rise above it all. Um, you know, you're going to get through what you need to get through. You know, there is a victory in store for you. Um, yeah. And, yeah, I just feel like you're getting that second win, a lot of motivation. And, and just know that you're on the right path and you are going to get what you need to get accomplished. Alright, we'll have a wonderful month, Scorpio. Much love and many blessings to you all. And if you're interested in a private reading, email me at tarakite at hotmail.com. And on the About page of my YouTube channel, you will find all the information. Alright, we'll have a wonderful month. Bye!